So here we are with another challenge. Yep. He's done it again. He's given me one of his favourite random games where I have absolutely no say over whether or not it is physically possible for me to beat it or not. Yeah. Because on his go, all of the, uh, uh, the, the stuff, shall we say, comes down on the right hand side of the screen next to the toilet. And whenever I play it, it always comes down on the left hand side of the screen, which means I can't empty the bucket, which means I always die. Because there is not enough time to physically get from the left hand side of the screen to the toilet and back again. So it's random. It's another of his like Agent X2 games where it's just got a random layout and if you happen to get lucky once then you get a good score. And if you don't, you're just playing it over and over again and getting thoroughly bored because it's entirely random and you're just not getting the layout. This is not the same as Arkanoid 2 where you get random bonuses. That's fine because then it's, you know, it is a random element but the level is the same. No, this is like Agent X2, where the actual physical layout of the game is randomly determined, and most of the times that you play, I can't physically beat him, no matter how good I am. So it's no fun. It's not a challenge. Random elements, good, but not random physical possibility, not random layout like this. That's no good, because it's not an equal playing field. He just happens to get a good run. I don't. Uh, see, as long as it stays over the left-hand side, I'm stuffed. Right, get back. Um, but anyway, on for Pst, which is a great game. And I think he enjoyed it, which is good. And does not have any of this stupid random levels. It's just a game of skill. And he beat me at it. So fair play is used. He did really well. It's really strange how he managed to complete Pst and beat me. But couldn't beat me at Cookie, which is kind of similar game. Very strange. Um, but, yeah, I like this. It's fun. But, no, fair play. He got the point. Um, and he'll get another point here because this is just a stupid random game. Um, but he, he earned that point. He didn't earn this point, but he'll get it anyway. Um, it's, this is just another Zeus special. Um, I should point out the game itself is actually pretty cool. Uh, it, I think it was written by somebody as their first attempt at writing a game. Which is really, really impressive if so, because he's got the music, he's got the really smooth graphics, which are... Oh, it's going over the left again. Um, a good presentation. Oh, come back. See, it's over the left-hand side. I can't do anything about this. Oh, that's lucky. Um, the game itself, really nicely done. It's just not a challenge game, because there's no skill involved. I need the game of skill. I need to invest some time into it and I need to play a game and get good at it and I can't as long as it's... Ah, couldn't get, I could not empty the bucket. That's it. Come on. There we are. There we go. I can get so far and then I just die all the time because it just goes over to the left hand side of the screen and then I'm stuffed. Oh, I could have maybe got that, but it doesn't matter anyway. Do, do, do. This is the last two. There we are. Okay. So yeah, the game is good. It's just not a good challenge. Really not a good challenge. It's another Zeus special. Of course, I won't be saying that if it stays over to the right. Um, what's it going to do? There we are. So far, it's been kind, but it won't last. I've got to get a wave 17 or something stupid like that. But there's no skill involved, so... If it stays over the right, it's fine. But I don't think it has any bearing as to what you do as to where it goes on the level. It's the problem. You can't direct it at all. There we are. It's just random. So over it goes to the left. Can't do anything. No. No, just get as much as I can and then die. There was no way I was going to get to the toilet and back again in time. Not a chance. You just got to empty it as much as you can and hope. 
That was a short wave. As long as a posterior at the top stays around the right hand side, I'm fine, I can beat him. But it ain't gonna do that. It is doing it at the moment. Oops. Come on. There we are. Oh, don't go over there. I'm on my last life. That's it. Thank you. Should be all right for wave 14 now. No. Let's get these two. Keep over the right hand side and I'm fine. No, that's the left hand side. Does that look like the right hand side? No, it does not. Oh, look at this. Ah, that's good. That's a good little layout there. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, that's my last life as well. See, wave 15, I'm not going to get any better than that. So, yeah, you can have that one. Just give me a game of skill, not luck. I'm fed up with games of luck. I want a game I can actually like do well in and not completely random as to whether it's physically possible or not. Whatever. Now let's have a proper game now, which involves skill, you know, like the games I always give you. I'm looking forward to your next game. Give me a good game. Please, not just a randomly, potentially, probably impossible game. Thank you. Right, next game. This one. Grid Runner on the Spectrum, the 16K Spectrum, no less, because I know how you love these uh, older Spectrum games. Um, yeah, it's a great little game. One of my original games from when I was but a lad. That's it, come on. Uh, one of Jeff Minter's games, in fact, came out on the VIC-20 as well. So despite being a uh, Minter game, it doesn't have any llamas, any camels, not even a single dromedary is to be seen, which is very unusual. Well, I suppose we don't know what the running things are, do we? They could be llamas. Um, yeah, your challenge is to beat my grid. So you need to get to a later grid number than me. And if you manage it to beat my grid, then you win. If you get to the same grid, then you need to beat my score. If you beat my score, then you win. If you don't, but you get to the same grid, you lose. If you beat my score, but on a lower grid, then you also lose. Okay, so grid first, then score. Same sort of thing as normal. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Uh, you will need a, a Protec cursor joystick. Um, if you haven't got a cursor joystick interface, let me know. I can probably sort you out with one. Oh, that was close. Um... Um, so you will need a good joystick. So your quick shot two turbos or whatever will be fine. You can hold down the fire button. You don't need to worry about the fire button. But you will need a good joystick. Um, but it is Protec, not Kempston. Oh, what? Come on in. Rrr, rage. Come on. Um, yeah, what else is there to say except that it's a hard game. 1982, I think. Very, very early game. Maybe, 19, or 1983, maybe. Um, but back from the days when the games were primarily arcade games, which makes them good for challenges, in my opinion. That was close. That was too close. Drat it. Nasty random, well, I don't know if it is random. Thing comes down from the top. I suspect it isn't actually random because nothing else is in this game. Unpredictable is a better word for it. Right, come on in. No. Oh, rat. Because the difficulty is because you move so fast in this game that you end up running into the zappy things. That's it. That's it. Oh, I could see that coming. Grr. Arg. Right. Okay. Come on, baby. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. 
Come on. Please all die. Thank you. That's it. That's it. Eat nasty arrow things and die horribly. Oh, grr, it hit the thingy and came down. <laughs> come on. Down you come. This way. Oh, grr. Come on, Ian. You can do better than this. Allegedly. Maybe not. That's it. That's going well. That's right. That's it. Oh, try not to get stuck in the corners as well. It doesn't do you any favours. Not close. About planned for. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, that was handy. Oh, no, no. That's it. That's it. Come on. Oh yeah. Oh. Men two. Two? On this level. Good luck with me. I'm gonna need it. Right, okay. I think you get other lives, but I don't know when. The, the instructions are quite scant on this game. Got that. That's it. Ba -ba -ba. I mean, how many instructions do you need, really? You have to work in all that. That's all. Uh, come on. Yes. Come on. Come on, that's it. That's it. Come on, die. All of you could die. That's it. A bit more. We're doing all right. We're doing okay. Come on. Notice the zappy things can actually damage the, the little runners as well. It doesn't just hurt you. They actually hurt the little things you've got to shoot. Oh, yeah. Man three now. Yeah, did get another life. Okay, come on. Come on. That's it. Come on, eat arrows and die. That's it. Yes. I avoided the zappy moving horizontal thingy in. Ah, rage. Come on. That's it, yes, that's it. That's right, come on, zap the thingies. That's it. Oh, that was close. <laughs> I went horizontal. I went down the edge. Oh. Come on, I've made a really good recovery to get this far. That's it. Come on. Bit more, bit more. Ah, they just turned around. Duh. That's it, yeah. Run up, that's it. Go, 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 go. Oh, whoops, ah, ah. That's right, come on in. I wonder if I've got another life yet. <laughs> ah, come on. Oh, you need to have about 12 eyes to do this game. Oh. Because you need to watch what's happening on the side, on the bottom. Ah, got it. Oh. Right, oh, another life. Excellent. Come on in. You can do this. Oh. I mean, how hard can it be? Right, okay. 75,000. That's not a bad score. 76,000. Come on in. That's right. Come on. Bum, 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 bum. God, you really need to concentrate. 
that straight there, that's it. Let's clear that off. Oh! 81,000. Beat that. Right, on whatever wave that was. I don't know what wave that was. Um, but whatever it was, you can see it, so you can count it. Beat that wave, beat that score. Okay, off you go. Um, yeah, have fun. Over and out.